Hey guys, welcome back to Red Acre Homestead here. Wanted to check in this morning with you guys. It's pretty early. Had a pretty cold night last night. It got down below freezing, uh, where I think we're in about 30 degrees, 31 degrees right now, so it's still technically not above freezing yet. Um, you see everybody seemed to be fine. I came out here this morning, they were kind of all, they were kind of all huddled together, but that's not uncommon for ducks. They were sort of huddled over there. They weren't directly under the light. I moved that feeder last night. It was almost directly under the light. I moved it purposely a little over this way to get it out from directly under their heat source. That way, if they did get too cold, they could huddle directly under the heat source. And when I came out this morning, they were sort of huddled they were huddled, but ducks huddle, especially when they're young. They like to kind of stay in groups. They were huddled sort of around where that heat, that primary heat source is. So that tells me they didn't get, they didn't get too cold. There were a couple huddled like over here where it's cooler around there. Last night I came out late, uh, about 10 o'clock and checked on them and it was the same deal. You know, a few over there, a few over there, a couple over here getting some water. One was actually asleep by itself over here, uh, just hanging out. Um, you know, so I guess maybe it got a little hot, wanted to come over there and get some rest, but everybody's was good this morning. Came out, just gave them some fresh water. Um, wanted to get out here bright and early, make sure everyone was okay while it was still cold. Check on everyone. So they got fresh water and I told you guys I was gonna get those galvanized feeders. Those actually came in last night. So I put one right there where they can, they, I had that one and it went all the way across and they were climbing over it, which some of that is just cause they're, they're ducks. They're like kids. Kids like to climb on stuff even when they don't need to. They were kind of doing the same thing. Uh, and so they'll still do it on this one, but that way they don't have to, to get to the other side to drink. Uh, they can get on both sides just fine. And I may I may put a second one in. I may put one, you know, move it over, put one here, and then put one over there. But, but we'll see. Uh, you know, I think that's gonna be enough for them. You know, during the day, um, the wife can come out and check and fill their water. Um, and everything so I gave them some fresh food too so they're excited about that they had a little left but you know somehow they they know it's fresh they get really seem to get really excited about it um, I guess the same way we know it's our food's fresh but they, they get really pumped about it when you give them fresh food even when they've got food sitting there um, so they're getting their bellies full this morning and getting some water and everything everybody's having a good time getting a little morning stretch in I'm gonna get out here later today and uh, Clean out their clean out their brooder and uh, get them, get those t little tags off their legs, little bands off their legs. Um, if it warms up enough this afternoon, you know, late this afternoon, I may put them out there in, in Tractor B that we talked about and uh, and let them you know let them get on the grass for just a few minutes, not long. I mean, not even half an hour, just enough to kind of stretch their legs, walk around on some grass, uh, check out the world a little bit, and then you know while I'm cleaning this put them back in here um, so and that the world of water catchment under there that I actually got that from saw that on Jack Spierko's video I actually saw it on another video first and then the guy gave credit to Jack Spierko in the Duck Chronicles and so I went and checked out the Duck Chronicles and kind of built it it's a little different than Jack's setup but it's a just a paint tray like a plastic paint tray like you would put your rollers in if you're painting a house a paint, put your paint in and roll your roller in uh, and then I built a little you know grate over the top and just set it down on top of there and um, I mean it's not it's not as full as I thought I thought they would make much more of a mess they haven't made as much of a mess as I thought they would so um, I mean I'll clean that out today regardless but you know I think if, if I had to I could get by with changing that out every other day right now but you know, I'll go ahead and change it today because I'm cleaning out the thing anyway. So, not really any point in forgoing that. But, just wanted to give you guys an update this morning. Everybody made it through their first night here on the homestead. So, uh, thanks for checking in with us, guys. Um, remember, we've got the playlist coming. Um, it'll it'll be up. Uh, I'll link to it at the end screen. And uh, check out our check out our playlist for the for the ducks. Alright guys, have a good one.